Community Library, and today I'm going to be bringing the library into your home with the Art Alive. Our Art Alive artist of the day is Pablo Picasso. Picasso is a Spanish painter and sculptor that lived from 1881 to 1973. The book that I'm going to be reading is 100 Pablo Picassos with art by Violet LeMay and published by Duo Press Books. The quote at the beginning says, my mother said to me, if you are a soldier, you will become a general. If you are a monk, you'll become a pope. Instead, I was a painter and I became Picasso. 100 Pablo Picassos. This book contains lots of little bits of information all the way through and has a challenge to try to find 99 different Picassos. So we're not gonna be doing all of that, but I am gonna read bits and pieces from each page throughout the book. This is Pablo Picasso, one of the most important artists of all times. He was born in Malaga, a city in Spain, which you can see right here on the map. Picasso's first word was piz, short for lapiz or pencil. Pablo Picasso worked on all kinds of art. He was always busy and made more than 50,000 works of art in his life. He made this sculpture of, called Bull's Head using pieces of an old bike. He designed costumes for ballet company called Ballet Russe in Paris. He was always happy to learn new things. He learned to make ceramics when he was 64 years old. He also wrote poems. Sometimes Picasso was very sad. He painted many pictures with the color blue. This time in Picasso's life was called the blue period. During the blue period, Picasso chose to paint sad, poor people, like this old blue blind guitar player he found on the streets in Barcelona, Spain. During the blue period, Picasso lived in Barcelona and Paris. He stayed in rundown apartments and cheap hotels. After the dark years of the blue period, Picasso found happiness. He changed the colors in his work. This time, Picasso's life was called the Rose Period. The Rose Period was named after Picasso's use of pink tones in his paintings. Rose is the French word for pink. In 1904, Picasso moved permanently to Paris. He made many friends who helped him be, to become a great artist. Picasso liked to paint himself. He made many self-portraits. This is a picture he painted of himself when he was 15 years old. This is another picture that he painted of himself. Picasso liked African masks. These masks inspired him to paint people's faces in that style. This painting here looks like an African mask, but it is a painting by Picasso. In 1907, Picasso completed a painting in a style that nobody had ever seen before. It was a big painting and it was called Les Demoiselles de Vignon. The woman in the painted painting looked distorted. And some of the women's faces remind us of those African masks. Picasso had broken all the rules. In 1907, everybody hated the painting, but today that painting is considered a masterpiece. With Les Demoiselles de Avignon, Picasso began a new art style called Cubism. This picture is called The Three Musicians. In cubism, artists show all the sides of an object in a single picture. Cubism made Picasso really famous. Artists use cubism in all kinds of mediums from painting to sculpture. Picasso loved animals, particularly dogs. He had many pets in his life, from a white mouse to a goat named M Esmeralda. Picasso's favorite dog was a dachshund whose name was Lump. From the time he was a kid, Pablo Picasso had always liked bullfights. He also made many pictures of imaginary animals like centaurs and fawns and even the minotaur. In 
In 1936, war broke out in Spain. One year later, the town of Guernica was bombed. Picasso was living in Paris and he was very upset. He painted his most famous painting, Guernica. In 1945, the war finally ended, and after the war, Picasso made a simple drawing of a dove. The drawing became a symbol of peace all over the world. Pablo Picasso had four children. His daughter, Paloma, was born in 1949. Paloma means dove in Spanish. After the war, Picasso moved again to the south of France where he worked in sculpture and ceramics. Picasso worked in a cluttered art studio. He said that the messy room inspired him. Picasso lived until he was 91 years old and he never stopped working. Today, you can see Picasso's art all the museums all over the world. He is a megastar of the art world. Picasso was very curious about the world. He saw things differently and showed the world in a special way. Picasso's art broke many rules. He loved trying new ways to make art. As you can see, this book has lots of images on every page. Um, so it's a really good book to, to grab from the library to uh, to look at uh, by yourself so that you can see all those neat pictures and read a little bit more information and uh, go a little bit deeper and see if you can find all 100 Picassos in the book. It's a neat challenge. All right, we're going to, today we're going to, to play a game to draw an, a cubist type of picture that will resemble Pablo Picasso's artwork. Our game is going to be called Roll of Picasso. So I have a dry erase board I'm going to use to draw my painting or my picture. And I would like you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. That's all you're gonna need right now and you can go back and add your color later. So I'm gonna get my whiteboard, you grab your pencil and your piece. Welcome back. Did you get your paper and your pencil? Okay, so we're gonna try this. I don't know how it's going to work. I'll be trying to do this on a camera, but we're gonna do the best that we can. So I created, we're gonna do roll of Picasso. So remember the cubism style is where everything's kind of um, in shapes and pieces and segments and everything looks a little bit different and a little bit distorted. Doesn't look very real. So what I did is I created this diagram. This is our roll of Picasso diagram. And so for each one of our, every time we roll a die, we're going to add something to our picture. So the first time we roll, we're gonna look at what the shape of the head would be. The second time will be one of the eyes. The third time, the second eye. The fourth time will be the nose. And the fifth time will be the mouth. We're gonna add all of this to our, to our the shape of our head and then at the end we can color it in add color and add other other items to the picture and make it our very own so you're ready to start let's see what let's see what happens um, this paper is also going to be made available so that you can copy it and you can play at home and you can try all different variations because every time you play the game you can end up with a different look picture okay so I have my die I'm sorry I'm gonna roll my die I rolled a two so that means, oh, we got lucky, because look, our number two head shape is just pretty much an oval. So if you have your paper and your pencil, what I'd like you to do is you're going to go ahead and draw that oval. So a nice, easy shape to start with. All right, that was easy. A nice oval for our Picasso head. All right, ready? I'm gonna roll number two, and we're gonna put the first eye on our picture. I rolled a two again because I like rolling two. So I have another two. And for our first eye roll, oh, that's an interesting eye. Our first eye roll, we're going to use, it's kind of almost like a weird star-shaped eye. So let's see if we can do that. So let's look at that again. And let's see if we can make that eye. So it's going to go up. All of these images were taken from Picasso uh, works of art. So if you look at some of the Picasso's works of art, you may see some of these images that you're trying to draw. All right, so there's my first eye. 
Yours look kind of similar. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. And this is cubism, which is not a realistic type of art. So obviously, right now, he doesn't look like a very realistic face. All right, ready for roll number three? Got a five. Rolled a five this time. So let's see what we have to do for five for our second eye. Ooh, look, our second eye is going to be this one right here. Okay, so we're going to add that to that has. And in cubism, things can be kind of distorted and broken up. So our eyes don't even have to be level across. One could be a little bit higher or one could be a little bit lower. I think I'm going to go a little bit lower on this eye. We're going to give him his eyelash, the round of the eye, the pupil, and then an eyelash at the bottom. And that's our second eye. So that's what my Picasso looks like so far. I'm ready for row number four. I had another five. So that's five. So let's see what kind of nose we have to draw. All right, so this nose is gonna be this one right here. Can you see that? So for this nose, I'm going to, and I wanna make my nose, I think I wanna make my nose kind of big because I think in, in Picasso type painting, they tend to be a little bit larger. So I'm going to start up here, go down, it goes around, loops under, kind of like a nostril, I guess. And then it has another line that comes down into here. So there's my nose. How's my Picasso look so far? All right, let's give him a mouth and then we can add some other details. I got a five for the mouth. I like fives and twos today. All right, five for our mouth. This is what our mouth is going to look like. It's this one right here. So it's two lips that are going to be coming down. I think I'm going to move his mouth over a little bit to this side. So this is our lips kind of look like this. Top lip number one there. And then the bottom lip right there. So that's my, those are my lips. So if you look at my paper, you can see my Picasso. So now I'm just going to add some color. I'm going to add, I'm going to make his lips red, but you can make them any color you want. Like that. And a lot of Picasso paintings, um, I'm going to go back to some of the masks that he did. I'll show you in the book. A lot of the paint of his style, you'll see like chunks of color or color maybe cut in half down the page. And these are just pictures that looked to, made to, to resemble uh, Picasso's works. Um, but see how like even here, see how that face is just kind of distorted? Or even on the back of our book. Can you see how this one is kind of split? This one has different color. So we can decide how we want to do this. So maybe I would like to take my picture and what if I do, what if I split it into two halves and I do the one half, I'll come into the nose like that. And then maybe like that. So that could be one half. And I might want to paint this whole side all into a green. Um, what else? We could add some other details. I could add, so I have green out. What if I added a, a bow tie at the bottom of this? Maybe give him a bow tie. Or I could add a hat. Okay, that's right here. We could just add just a, a funny little hat, kind of like a, a thing about dry erase. Head. When you're coloring in your picture, you can use anything you'd like. So you, if you have watercolors, you can paint with watercolors. You can color it in with crayons. You can use magic markers. Uh, whatever works best for you, you can use that. You could even do this out on your driveway in Sidewalk Talk, which would be really fun. All right, what else could we add to our Picasso? What about some ears? Let's give our Picasso some ears. Um, let's give him one over here. And we'll give him another one. We'll put this one up a little bit higher. 
So there's our ears. Maybe he needs another eyebrow for this eye. An eyebrow for that eye. And there's my Picasso. I would just probably add some more color to it. Um, it's harder to, to color with dry erase, so I'm going to stop there. But I encourage you to add lots of color to your picture. Fill in the background with color, add other shapes, add other details, um, but make it your own. I would love to see the works that you're doing, the, the art projects, so please consider sending them to our Facebook Messenger page so we can put together a folder of all the art that's being done at home. At the end of this video, I will do a close-up shot of this roll of Picasso worksheet uh, so that you can screenshot it, you can print it, you can use it to create your own uh, works of art at home. All you'll need is a, a piece of paper, a pencil, some color, and a die. Thank you for joining me today. Remember that you can check out our library website at crownpointlibrary.org for more library resources. Have a great day.